Dom, we're here at the Institute of Fundraising's con fundraising convention in London. How have you found the convention this year? I uh, found it really, really good, actually. Um, I think the convention is, well, first and foremost, obviously, it's a fantastic networking event. Um, but I think this year the, the kind of breadth of sessions um, has been quite impressive. Um, you know, certainly I've you know, managed to, to get along to quite a few that have, have challenged my thinking and I think that's the, the point of convention really. It's not just to go along and you know, attend sessions that are about maybe your particular channel or area of fundraising. I think it's about stepping outside of that a little bit and, uh, and challenging your thinking. And I think this year from the, the opening plenary, um, you know, really set the tone and I think that the sessions have followed on from that. So great networking event as ever. Um, and a, a great range of, of sessions and, uh, and content this year, I think. And you've used the opportunity of this event for fundraisers to launch annual review for home fundraising. Uh, what were some of the findings from that? Um, well, I mean, we, we come to convention to, to launch the annual review because, I mean, you know, obviously there, there are so many people in attendance, I mean, both who we work with, but also kind of stakeholders within the industry that hopefully are interested in, in what home fundraising is doing. Um, and the review really covers it's not, it's not just kind of facts and figures about home, but it, it kind of covers obviously the highlights of the past year, some real kind of um, some standout information really um, around door-to-door -door fundraising and the impact of, of what we're doing, but also the industry itself, um, and also thoughts on you know the year or, or years ahead. Um, you know this is a, a very rich time in, in in terms of fundraising in the UK. It's a very challenging time, um, but also from that. Uh, comes a lot of innovative thinking um, and new ways of doing things and that covers us as well home fundraising and uh, you know and I think the face-to-face -face market in general. So can you see the face-to-face -face market growing over the next year or two? Um, I think uh, whether it grows or not uh, I'm not sure but what I think it certainly does is diversifies in terms of how face-to-face -face is done um, the both in terms of how the 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 charity proposition is delivered either at the doorstep or, or on the street or on a private site or wherever and the the choice that um, donors have in terms of how they want to engage with charities how they may want to make donations methods of payment all, all of these different things but the, this is a, a, a challenging time but a rich time in terms of how we develop face-to-face -face channels because let's not forget with this little thing called GDPR that you know we've all been dealing with over the last year or so, or, or longer, um, with with the face-to-face -face channels, it gives a fantastic opportunity to not just be talking about fundraising, but be talking about creating relationships with potential. Every single conversation, whether it ends in a donation or not, has the potential to initiate a relationship with an organisation, and that means that there is huge, rich potential in all of the face-to-face -face activity that's going on in the UK. Dominic, thank you very much. Thank you, Howard.